Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to make some predictions based on what we all have seen so far in this drama. I'm going to talk about some important scenes that can help us understand the mystery to some extent. Before starting the video, let me remind you, this is just my own theory, where I will talk only about the possibilities, and the real antagonist of this drama. I will start with my three suspects, number one, Sang-e, number two, Park Jae-sung and number three, Mr. Choi. As most of you know, people are being murdered and all of these murders are connected to Blue Orchid, a flower which is also called Ghost Orchid, the speciality of this flower is that, you will be able to see what you really want if you smell it all night. We have found this Blue Orchid in all the murder scenes, which makes us even more curious, who could be behind all these murders, but first I ask you all, do you really think Inju's best friend Wayong is really dead? Here's my first prediction that she is not dead, did you notice, she got completely vanished when Mr. Choi met Inju. She didn't even make a single call after leaving for Europe. And it was Mr. Choi who asked Inju about Wayong, the same day she found her dead. Is this a coincidence or a well-planned murder, or you can say a fake murder? Did you see the news, it was revealed that Wayong received plastic surgery the day before she died. Though in real world, plastic surgery can't change you into another person completely, but we have seen in many dramas, characters do change their appearance with plastic surgery. If she really changed her appearance and identity, who could it be? Most of you must be thinking it's Sang A, but I personally feel it's Mr. Choi's first client, the girl who went missing from an accident in 2012. And remember Mr. Choi was the one who leaked that news to make everyone believe that she's dead. What could be the reason? Of course, he wanted to use her against the Park family at some point. But isn't it surprising, after many years, Mr. Choi showing Inju that his first client is alive and living happily somewhere now, and here Wayong is also dead. One character disappeared, another one appeared. Makes sense, right? But the question is why Mr. Choi is against the Park family, does he have any connection with Park family? The answer is yes, he has a family history with Park family. As you all know about the Jongran Society, also known as the International Orchid Society. If you remember most of its former members are dead, including Missy Shock, who was also killed in Episode 6. So now only two members are alive, one is Song A's father general one who's in coma and the principal Jang Sapayan. But there's one more person who went missing long time ago, a man named Choi Hee Jae. I personally think Mr. Choi is either his grandson or his son. There's definitely a mystery behind his disappearance, and it is all connected to that Orchid Society. So it makes sense why Mr. Choi is against the Park family? Okay, now let's see from another angle. What if Song A and Mr. Choi planned it all together? Though Mr. Choi works for Park Jae Sun, but he's secretly working for Sang A, he's the one who suggested Inju to accept Sang A's offer to be her assistant. What if 70 billion won disappearance in transferring it to Singapore under Inju's name is all part of their plan, so that they can send Inju to Singapore to work for their Blue Orchid business? Because we have seen Park Jae Sung is always keeping his eyes on Sang A, we also saw his violent reaction when Sang A went to Singapore without telling him. So she needed a person who can go to Singapore on her behalf to take part in Blue Orchid auction. Remember the scene when Mizko was beating Inju brutally, Mr. Choi came there with Sang A to rescue her. Both of them trying so hard to keep Inju alive to use her. And my theory is about all the murders, how most of the members of Orchid Society are already dead. Our two suspects are Park Jae Sung and Sang A. Let's start with Park Jae Sung. Remember, his father was used by Sang A's father, General One, and he is also against the Orchid Society. He also started destroying Ms. He Shock's business when he found out about Ms. He Shock's history and her connection with General One and Orchid Society. What if he's trying to get rid of everyone who's part of Orchid Society? So is he the one who's behind Ms. He Shock's murder too? What if Ms. He Shock's butler was Park Jae Sung's man? Remember he started working for Ms. He Shock recently, and we also saw him leaving the house during the murder. Our second suspect is Sung A, my reason is, she wants to become the sole member of Orchid Society, and it is only possible when she gets rid of everyone. 
Did you notice she was so worried when she saw Missy shocked at her place? What if the butler is actually working for her? But don't forget Mr. Choi was also there this whole time. After Butler left the house, only Inju and Missy Shock were there, Inju was unconscious due to the smell of blue orchid. And the door was also opened, there's a possibility, Mr. Choi might be the one who entered the house and murdered her. Anything can happen with new twists and turns, after all it's murder mystery. We can't also deny the possibilities of Park Jae Sun and Sung A working together in all this mess as we saw him at Wayong's place on the day of her murder, he also opened the door without any lock code, as we've seen in one of the episodes, she had lock code in her door. Does that mean Park Jae Sun already knew stuffs about Wayong, or his wife told him everything and he's just clearing all the mess his wife started and what was the reason behind using his father-in-law's car that night? Remember Song A told Inju that both, husband and wife are acting and playing their part perfectly. Mr. Choi, Inju, Woyong and Park Jae Sung, remember all these characters were grown up in poverty and all of them are connected to Song A, or being used by her to carry out her plan. So far it looks she's is the main antagonist of this drama. What do you think guys? Please share your theory and predictions, and don't forget to watch next episode this Saturday on Netflix.